this video, we're going to be looking at question eight from the 2022 paper one for the further maths GCSE. So using matrix multiplication, show that uh, rotation by 90 degrees anti-clockwise followed by a reflection in the y line y equals x is equivalent to a reflection in the x-axis. So what I'm going to do to begin with is just write out all my reflection matrices. So if you're reflecting in the x axis, you have 1, 0, 0, negative 1. Y axis, it should be negative 1, 0, 0, 1. And in y equals x, you can have 0, 1, 0. Ooh. Zero, one, one, zero. So if you look at the X and Y ones, they're kind of the two ones down the middle across diagonally. And for X, you've got the positive one top left, negative one bottom right. And it's kind of the reverse for the Y axis. In Y equals X, it's kind of the opposite way round. So it's the opposite diagonal to the identity matrix. So let's also look at our rotations matrices. So these are going anti-clockwise. So if we're looking at 90 degrees, we're going to have 0, negative 1, 1, 0. For 180 degrees, we are going to have negative 1, 0, 0, negative 1. And finally, to 70 degrees, we're going to have 0. 1, negative 1, 0. And of course, we don't have 360 because that would take us back to where we were. It would just be the identity matrix. So the question asks us for a rotation of 90 degrees anti-clockwise, followed by a reflection of the line y equals x. So we're going to be using this matrix and this matrix. And they're really clear on by saying followed by because with matrix multiplication, the order matters, but is actually in reverse of what you expect. So the y equals x matrix will go first, 0, 1, 1, 0, followed by the rotation one. So if we do this, we're going to do for our top left element here, we're going to do the top row multiplied by the left column. So 0 times 0, which is 0, 1 times 1, which is 1. And we're adding those two elements together. Now for the top right element, we're going to do top multiplied by the right one. So 0 times negative 1, which is 0, 1 times 0, which is 0. For the bottom left, we're going to do the bottom and the left one. 1 times 0 is 0. 0 times 0 is 0, sorry, 0 times 1 is 0. And finally, we're going to do, for the bottom right, we're going to do the bottom multiplied by the right, 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1, plus 0. So if we tidy this up on the top, we're going to get 1, 0, 0, negative 1. And let's just check, is this what it is for the reflection in the x-axis? Yeah, it is. 